Hello, the Marish and Zomali episode three. Wow, with a further two, let's get this started. Reaction, shall we? Okay, like I said, I'll be using this format from now on, and I'll do the recap alongside with the opening. So, yeah, you guys were asking me why is this first before Jipaku? Well, apparently, Jipaku episode haven't been available for download yet, so I'll just do this for the time being until Jipaku is available. So, yeah, here we go in three, two, one, go. So let's see what the next adventure holds for Somali and the Gollum. There we go, Somali and the Gollum. Mhm. Haha. Eh, she's hungry. <laughs> Yeah, what are you doing, Somali? Hey, hey! What the hell, really, man? You eat a bag? <laughs> mhm. Mm hmm. I I do wonder if there's any like a town nearby desert. No. Uh huh. Uh huh. So. Hey, nice. Yep. So you have one more year left. His stay is limited. Mhm. Mm is. Yep. It's better to get cracking now before, you know, stuff happens. Hmm, let's do this. Yeah, this is say, you know, when the time comes, we will see some sort of like um, drama regarding to the golem and somebody will cry our eyes out. Uh, but yeah, last episode we get to meet this doctor that looks almost again from Dr. Stone. Yeah, I know. The, the the attitude, the way it speaks, the way the way you do this, it kind of reminds us of Gen from like Doctor Stone. But in the end, I know at first I thought it's like some sort of like a monster trying to scheme, uh, have a like scam them or something. But it turns out it's just uh, like a doctor that wants the golem's part of his body just to like, you know, study it. Well, in the end, we get to learn about the the fact that golem the yeah the golem has like one year and one hundred twelve days left to live. So. Yeah, that's not long. That is not long at all. That's like one year and four months left if I do the ma my mouth my math calculation correctly. So that is very soon. So do you need to make, make a cracking of it, of it like saving Somali is and like you know returning her to her real parents or at least bring her back to the human civilization. So it's gonna be some sort of tragic stuff happening along the way, but we'll see, of course. I wonder how what this this episode has an offer for today. Hopefully, it's not another or episodic episode. <coughs> now she decided we not want to walk. Yeah, that's what happened when we walk for a long time. Hey, hey they finally made it. You know that that entrance kind of reminds me of um the sand village from Naruto. Atho City. Okay, that's a weird name for the city. Mhm. Mm so it's like a trading city, I think. So. Mm -hmm. So it's like a a trading city, in other words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, so stick, stay close. So stay close. Yep, stay close.
to sell, okay. And Simone is wandering off again and something bad can happen to her if she you know keep on wandering around and be fascinated by some small things. And here we go. Here we go. We have a dodgy monster. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, so you're gonna use his power again? Hey. Mm hmm. In other words, yeah, his trading did not work so well. Well, at least they can eat. That's a that's a good question. That's a question. No one. Absolutely no one. Or oh, is this restaurant like very unpopular? Someone's hiding under it. Yep. Hey. Ah oh, hi. Is that a rabbit? <laughs> Oh, they're not ready to open. Hey, it's rugby tackled. <laughs> Preparing Junbi Chu. Uh-huh. <laughs> I try to run away. Ah. Huh. I see. Well, yeah, children are rebellious after all. They like to do whatever they want. And playing around, of course. Mm hmm. Hey, whoa! Helping around, huh? Hey, their wife. Yep. My god, butler man, look at him in his butler suit. That's just so weird though. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah. Mm. Hey. Well, at least the kids have someone to play with. I'm pretty sure they somehow try something stupid, but we'll see, of course. You know, the kids, after all, kids love to explore the world. <laughs> rugby rugby holding <laughs> Whoa <laughs> You know he's she's playing against a god or a god of after all Hey, some singing. Mm 
So is this some sort of like a, a magical song that can join customers or something? It would be funny if, if, if he fell asleep listening to that song. Mm -hmm. Uh so yeah I know right I mean kids play, uh, get along quite nicely they go to oh right now they're popular when they open yeah <coughs> uh-huh I mean, he's a golem, he can do anything. Yep, he's strong too. Uh huh. Hey, oh my god, that looks very appetizing. <laughs> hey. Wow, you don't have to be very specific with the, the, the calories. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Well, stuff. Yeah, searching for humans. Mm hmm. Hey, here we go. Some rumors. Sabakuka. Okay, so it gets to hang there next. Uh, that's not happening. Yeah, that's not happening. That's not happening. No, she won't. She won't. She won't. Oh, here we go. Uh, some um, future thoughts. When the journey's over, what's next for her? Uh, hey mm -hmm. so you know work longer here <laughs> yeah like a robot like a ro okay here you go um thank you so no emotions at all, just say it naturally, just like, you know, say it very calmly. <laughs> hey, Yeah, he's working hard so that I can like earn some a bit of money so that I can buy the, the traveling gear. So don't take it hardly, Somali. I mean, she's still a kid, so she thinks, just think that he's ignoring her. But, you know, the kids are going to try something. Hey. Mm. That was the agreement. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, he's been a very dodgy parent. Well, you know, he has his reasons, so... He just don't want to make, make sure that he just don't want them to be lost. So, and of course, you know, it, this is a very dangerous city too, despite where it looks like a very calm city. I mean, he's, just, he's taking the job very seriously, man, like too seriously. Yep, earn a bit of cash so that you can buy the stuff. 
you know when when you're trying to like um uh, buy something you better like work hard and earn money hey so Marley, don't take it too that seriously man he's just doing this so that he can like get get them like um the right equipment to go go to the that side of the desert to find humans but you know she's still a kid so she just misinterprets things uh -huh. That determination on the face, though. Okay, okay. At least he's not that strict. Oh, I know. Yeah. The way he say it is almost like he's a like, fine, fine, fine. Just do whatever you want. Uh huh. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh huh. In other words, he's trying to let let her have a bit of freedom on the looks of it, but he's still kind of worried about her. See, Somali's just kind of sad for the fact that she's not spending much time with him because, like, no, of the work. Yeah, sorry about this, guys. I uh, morning syndrome. Oh, oh. Uh. Like I said, it's not the case. Oh, okay. So that's how she interprets it. Mm. Oh, she's that attached to him now. Ooh. Okay, now this will spark a lot of drama when stuff happens when they go their separate ways. Yep. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. He's having a, he's eyeing on them right now. So, who knows? He could do some dodgy things on on them. We we'll see, of course. Hey. Whoa. Not bad, not bad. Mm -hmm. I see. Well, at least they those two have, are having a nice time, uh, and there are some like big creatures too, so I need to be careful. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, now he did have to ask. Mm-hmm. 
Well, because you know that's the first thing she saw when she's in danger. Yep. Hmm. How cute. Hmm. How's that? Hmm. So she's that attached to him because, like, you know, he does a lot of stuff for her that, like, a father would do. Okay, so guess they're getting close to that. <laughs> so you observe through flower of some sort. And Somali girl like somehow run into danger maybe. Cause you know she's just, you know, just like uh with a cautious just follow the butterfly. Or maybe not. <laughs> hey, there you go. I have a bad feeling that mushroom is somehow going to attack her. Knew it. I knew it. It, I mean, literally, it just stand out out of nowhere. So I have a bad feeling, and my bad feeling is correct. Hey, <coughs> hey. <coughs> oh, hey. Oh, whoa. Okay, so like a jellyfish, like mushroom, huh? Oh, he came. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, shit, here we go. Hey, hey, here we go. Uh oh. Well, despite the fact that the wolf-like monsters saved them, I'm pretty sure he's up to something with Somali. He said, Yatto misketa. That means he, is, he was there to look for Somali. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay. I can see some sort of stuff happening next episode where maybe he's trying to kidnap Somali and some sort of just to like, maybe just to use her for something. Or maybe he's... He, he can use her to like bargain with um, the golem maybe I mean who knows I mean he, he came all this way I mean she he did save Somali so but no preventing the monster the monster getting a hand of Somali of course so yeah I do wonder what he wants Somali for but yeah you know this episode today is again kind of wholesome in some ways but yet kind of depressing well the wholesomeness comes from the fact the fact that Somali managed to make a friend, make another friend again. This time it's like a, a, a horn-like rabbit creature, some sort. But yeah, the fact that you know this Somali was easily make, able to make friends just shows the level of like social skill she has, which you know kind of shows that she in the future she can like make um have a, have a huge group of people supporting them. Um, so, no, of course making a lot of friends too. But Somali, you know, um, she really, really wants to have something to enjoy in her, uh, in her during her time here because, like, for the time being, the golem is like working as a butler. I mean, I mean, as, 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 like a waiter. I mean, to, he he took the he, he's taking the job really seriously. So, which kind of reflects his like strict nature. He wanted to do this professionally so that he can like you know able to earn some quit so that he can buy the traveling equipment needed to go to the that side of the desert to find hu the human that which was rumored they would be in. So, yeah, I mean, yes, despite the fact that he's he's trying to earn money, he's just taking his job a bit too seriously though. That's why some Somali's been kind of been left out, but which kind of re represent what societies are about, like. The fact, um, the fact that Somali kind of felt left left out when then the golem said, oh, "Sorry, Somali, I'm working." Oh my god, that 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 hit that really hit me hard because like, 
you know, it kind of reminds me of when I was a kid. I wanted to go somewhere for fun, go here and there, but my parents said, "Sorry, today I'm work. Can we can you save for next time?" Or something like, "Oh, I'm working. Can you be quiet for a bit? I um I will be, uh, I won't be able to accompany you f- for the time being." Yeah, I, I can't understand where uh, how Smart is feeling right now because kids doesn't like their parents to like just ignore them and just focusing on work. That's why sometimes when you're when you, when you know parents as a, uh, when they're like having kids and they're like you know, right quite in the early stage of their life, it's kind of gonna be like a um, very problematic to handle because like sometimes kids want to like go here and there, but parents said no, I work today. Um, no, you you have to save it for later. I have to finish this today. It it's gonna hurt them a lot because you know kids d- d- doesn't know the importance of work. They just want to. They just saw them as. They just saw the parents that try ignoring them, but they're not ignoring them. They just you know focusing on the work so they can like earn money, um, not to like de- get demoted and not to get fired by not turning up for work. So yeah, but despite uh, the fact that the government like you know trying to earn money and stuff like that, so much this this is like the first experience by Somali that Golom is actually not. Being uh, not like uh, having a, uh, much attention on her, so she just feeling left out. That's the feeling. She's feeling left out because like she never felt this like um, isolated, uh, being left alone for a long time. Cause, but she, I mean, she, like you said, she doesn't understand the va- the values of work. So I really feel for her. Really does. But again, she she just you know this is sad that she just found out. She because she also realized that. The golem, at least she being a bit mature, knowing that the golem has actually earned enough money to so that they can buy the traveling equipment so they can get to the human village. But she's thinking too much. She said that oh, she she's doing this so that he can quickly abandon me to the humans so that he so that he can go back to his world. She's basically thinking of that. Basically, she's saying oh, the go the golem is not doesn't like me anymore. Uh, he wants to get rid of me as soon as possible. So yeah, I kind of feel. Very, uh, very like you no, know, kind of like sad to see the fact that Somali is everything this far already. Because usually you don't think this far until like midway through the season, but er, 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 it's already like er, you know, early er, part of the season already, and she's already like, start thinking, oh, he's not, th- he doesn't want me anymore. He wanted me to return to where I belong, and I love Atosa. I want to be by his side for a long time, which you know, kind of like. Give us like insight the fact that there could be some sort of drama along the way where um, you know Somali will be in trouble and the Gollum will be you know um, won't be there for her because like you know the Gollum could be in trouble too could you know be fighting and the fact that you know if the Gollum like actually lo- actually loses his life or so meets meets his end how will Somali will adapt to that. Cause next time I said, I would, I don't know how I survive without that and stuff like that. So, I'll, I'll be very, very fancy to see how they end the season. Whether or not the golem actually dies to like, then let's see somebody cry her eyes out, or maybe we're gonna see the fact that the golem will somehow survive. Who knows? I mean, who knows? But I have a feeling that we're gonna see some sort of sad end to the series. Cause you know. So, the fact that Samari said that he wants she want to be with um, the Gollum forever, but the Gollum doesn't last forever. That's the question. That's the thing. So I'm gonna feel quite sad for her if uh, when they when the journey ends for those two. But for the time being, the Gollum is working hard to earn the money so they can start traveling again. But Somali, she once again got herself into some sort of trouble. But she wants the flower for some sort of wish purposes. But in the end. Meets the dodgy hunter, I believe. I think that's a human hunter. Hopefully not. But yeah, Somali can't understand what she's going through right now because you know this is the first time she's been left out by the dad. But and also realizing that the what she's doing is gonna like abandon her in the future even more. So I do want to see how will they end the series though. I guess I don't want to see Somali like always cr- uh, like you know sad for the, for a lot, a lot a majority of the moment. I want to see her be more happy again. But yeah, that's just that's just uh, the reality of life after all. So yeah, hope you can enjoy enjoy my reaction to like get a lot of enjoy. Subscribe subscribe to our reaction content. See you guys in the next reaction video, which will be something else. Yes, then.